Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another Poshmark video, and this time it's going to be about the Poshmark rating review system and how you should stop letting it affect your mood, you, the way that you posh and all that stuff. Now, I understand that there's people who strive for five stars. They throw out all the bells and whistles and everything, and if they get anything less than five stars, they are all over Instagram or all over Poshmark uh, groups, you know, wondering what they did wrong. Here's something I'm going to say, <laughs> and it's really, really true. You can't please everybody. There's always going to be somebody who is not happy with anything that you do, or they just never rate anybody more than four stars, three stars. I've had people rate me four stars, say, thank you, I loved it. And I'll be like, only four stars, so I'll go and I'll look at their um, about me on their profile, and they don't leave love notes. You can't see the love notes they've left. So I have the feeling that they're the kind of person that wants to say thank you, but they don't want people to know what they've purchased, so they only leave four-star reviews. There's nothing you can do about that. Um, I've had people leave me one a one-star review. I actually only had one, knock on wood, one-star review. I've had... Um, threes and fours. I don't think I've ever had a two, but I've had so many more five-star reviews without, um, well, five-star, yeah, five-star reviews or five-star ratings. Um, you know, some with a thank you note or some without it, they just rated me five stars. Um, then I've had any of the other ones combined. So I've had a bunch of four stars. Well, they'll put other and that's it. I mean, there's no, they don't even explain to you why, um, I've had a few of those. I've had, what, the three stars. Uh, somebody said that this thing smelled like cigarette smoke, and that was one of the first things that I sold. And we don't smoke in this house at all. Um, the item that I sent off didn't smell like smoke at all. I would know because we don't smoke, so we would be able to smell it. Um, and not only that, but cigarette smoke kind of irritates my nose. Um, let's see. So I don't know. It could have been anything. It could have been the, the mailman smoking in his car and it just, you know, got into the bag somehow. But again, that was like one of my first things that I sold on Poshmark. They rated me three stars and, you know, said it was because it smelled like cigarette smoke. So you can't really argue with that person at that point because it's your word against theirs. Um, but I do know that whenever I see people complain about anything less than five stars, it, it's, I feel like it's not that big of a deal. Your ratings, yes, they will affect you at some point, and that's if you consistently get anything below a four-star rating. Let's say, for example, you just toss everything um, in, in the, the poly mailers, or you just toss it where, in the box or whatever without any rhyme or reason, you put the wrong size in the listing and you shipped off the incorrect size. Um, there's animal hair all over the item that's very, very visible and you didn't take the time to take care of it or it does smell like cigarette smoke and you didn't disclose that. Um, let's see what else. You sent off the wrong item. Um, there was stains all over an item or some, you photographed something to make it look better than it really was and you even knew that it wasn't that great but you still sent it off um you know those things do warrant i believe less than five stars re reviews and if you consistently get those then the best thing to do is reevaluate how you do your business i guarantee you there's going to be people out there who are going to give you four stars just because they don't think anyone deserves a five star you could wrap it in the prettiest, sparkliest, non-glitter transferring tissue paper in the world. You can give them a lottery ticket that has a thousand dollars on it. You can wrap it in 24 karat gold poly mailer and send it off, you know, in a nicely scented box. And it, when you open it up, you know, give them like some old Victorian brooch or something to go along with it. And they'll still say that it wasn't worthy of five stars. That's just how it is. Um, I know a lot of people complain about ship times, and unfortunately, especially with it being the holidays, ship time is a little bit slow. I did have someone give me a four-star review because of ship time. However, I shipped it the day after they ordered it, but it took a, almost two weeks for it to arrive to them because 
the postal service actually, I guess somehow lost it at one point and then they picked it up again and then they sent it off to them. And I got a four star and ship time was the reason. So I politely told them that, you know, the rating system is mostly used to rate the, the sellers on their actions and not necessarily, you know, the postal service because I have no control over shipping. They didn't change their rating, um, but I just let them know next time in case something like that does happen. Now, another thing, um, if somebody does rate you four stars, don't go onto their page and be like, why did you rate me four stars? I'm so worth a five star review and I did everything I possibly could for you, everything except rub your feet. Like, <laughs> I know that you want to go and and get that five star review, but in the grand scheme of things, is it really worth it? Is it really something that's going to put a damper on your day? I know there's some people who are get very, very upset when they don't get five star reviews and I, I get it. But at the same time, you shouldn't let that affect your business. You shouldn't let that affect the way that you work on Poshmark. That shouldn't um, let you kind of feel down. I know it's kind of irritating because you kind of want to control it and you kind of want to say, hey, I did everything I could. I shipped it on time. I shipped it within the time frame. I think you you have seven days to ship it technically. So if you don't ship it in within that time frame, obviously, you know, you're not going to get five stars. Um, you know, I made sure that the item was clean. I made sure that it didn't smell. There was no stains and all that stuff. But at the same time, you don't know what the buyer is trying to write on. You don't understand the buyer's expectations unless they actually told you, I expect this, that, and the other, and if you don't do this, you don't get five stars. But in that case, do you really wanna send something off to that person? Probably not. I do feel like we get hung up too much on the rating system rather than just keep going with the next person who gives us another five star. We get so caught up in those four stars, three stars, um, you know, if you consistently get two stars and one stars, then you need to really evaluate what you're doing. That we don't realize, we don't look at the bigger picture. We don't look at our posh stats and see, oh, I have like 300 five stars. I have eight four stars, three three stars, and two two stars, and you know, one one star. You just don't you don't see the bigger picture. You just see that one review that just gets on your nerves for that one day. And I get it. You need a place to vent. So Facebook is a great place for that. Instagram is a great place for that. But it is honestly, it's best to just not let these reviews get to you. So if you're new to Poshmark and you haven't been selling that much and you haven't really received any reviews, once you start receiving reviews, you'll start realizing you know, what some people like, what some people don't like. Some people will actually dock you a star if you give them freebies. So if you give them free things that they didn't ask for, they will dock you a star, so it has happened. So just be prepared that that may happen in the future. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, but like I said, just don't let it get to you, honestly. You don't know what the buyer's intentions are. You never know what a buyer is capable of. Um, they might they might not even rate you at all. They might just let the fourth day, you know, go and then you get your funds released. So, you know, I really, I really hope that if you're just starting out on Poshmark, don't get caught up on the review system. Don't try to overdo it and keep up with the Joneses by wrapping everything up all nice and pretty because you expect a five-star review. The best thing to do is just make sure that you're sending off items that are described the way that they're supposed to be, the size that they're supposed to be, um, and that they look the way that they're supposed to be. That's the only thing that should really, really matter. And as long as you don't get any cases opened up against you and you don't get consistent low ratings, I'm talking like two stars and one stars and even three stars. If you don't, you know, if you don't get those consistently, I think you're pretty good because at some point Poshmark might not want you <laughs> selling on that site. So I hope this video kind of helps somebody. I know if you get caught up in all the five star hoopla, this might actually make you upset and I get it. But, um, you know, at, at some point when I first started selling on Poshmark, I thought that the five-star reviews were everything. And so I, I felt like I had to keep up with everybody by giving away freebies and things like that. And then I realized that just wasn't me. That wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to just make sure that the person received the item the way that it was supposed to. 
and um, I really haven't had a problem. Nobody has ever said, oh, she didn't send me a freebie, so here's a three-star review. <laughs> you know, if anything, I get a lot of five stars now or people who don't rate me at all. <laughs> it just, it is what it is. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.